Hello and welcome to Hell Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. American talk show host Lisa Gibbons won Donald Trump's final season as host of Celebrity Apprentice. With her winnings, though, she set out to help teach people how to take care of family members struggling with disabilities or terminal diseases. She is here with me today to talk about her new project, Lisa's Care Connection, and why it hits close to home for her. Welcome. Thank you so much. You always have been in the forefront of bringing attention to caregivers. Why, why so? I think caregivers are heroic and I see the resilience and the, the, the fierce optimism with which they need to bring to that act of love every day and how as a society we don't really see it, we don't recognize it. No one sends you a, you know, a card saying, you know, way to go, good luck with that caregiving thing. No. Um, we tend to kind of isolate and walk a very lonely path. I'm very excited. I want to know about Lisa's Care Connection. What is it? It's a place where people can begin to answer that question, now what? When someone you love has a surgery that you then have to care for them over their rehab, someone gets a diagnosis, a chronic illness, a fatal disease, there's a disability, autism, cancer, MS, whatever, there's always a family of caregivers around that person. Right. And our job is to help connect you to your own strength and grounding so that you can have the energy to get through this marathon and to the education and the empowerment that you need to make great decisions. So is, is this connection like a, like a social circle? Uh, is it broken down in disease categories? So let's say I'm, I'm looking for autistic parents, like my mm -hmm. son is autistic. Uh, and I said, you know what, I, I, I've had a rough day. I wonder if there's a bright spot in my future. Because sometimes I sit there, but I do it with a scotch and soda. I don't do it in the Internet. But, it, 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 you know, so is it broken down? Is it going to operate that way as a social? It does. We've, we've been offering our free services for about 12 years. And we have physical locations where people self-select. Right. So if it's um, a Reiki class or a drum circle or a support group or an Ask the Doctor series or something social, laughter therapy, yoga, whatever it is to kind of reflect and get your reserves back up strong, because it's easy to see this glass is totally empty. But the reality is, it's your glass. You own it. Right. So you have to be the one responsible for what you put in that glass. So you can make it half full. Um, I always listen to you because you have such good advice. Uh, let's go through some tips that you talk about. Um, one of the first things you say is, breathe. Breathe. Take the oxygen in. I know. It sounds so simplistic. But think about when caregivers or anybody stressed about anything. We're taking shallow breaths, right? Right. Well, you're the medical guy. You know what that does I'm to us. I'm panting all day. <laughs> I look like a poodle half the time. <laughs> well, then if you could do the mantra, breathe, believe, receive. Yeah. Um, I think those are three really important things to kind of slow down your heart rate, lower your blood pressure. Um, believe is really just connecting to whether it's a higher power for you, whether it's in your own ability to get through it, and then to stop holding on so tight to open up, stop achieving, start receiving for a little right, bit. Right. People because, really do want to help. And you also mentioned that we all should talk as a family. What do you mean by that? I think that we tend to walk this path in isolation and then depression sets in mm -hmm. and then we're ineffective. So to the extent that we can connect, let everybody have a voice, it won't be the same voice. But when you can sort of banish the blame and the resentment and get rid of the guilt that we put on ourselves because we can't fix it, sometimes we can't even make it better. Mm -hmm. But just have that family check in, whether it's, you know, Skype or uh, FaceTime or conference calls, whatever, so that that everyone feels valued and heard. I think with caregivers or anything, we want to be seen, right? So. Since this is National Family Caregiver Month, if there are people that we know out there who are doing this work, and there's 65 million of us, just acknowledge somebody. Gosh, I know what you're doing is hard. Yeah. You're doing great. Right, right, exactly. Makes that, a makes, difference. that makes a difference. And, and finally, one of the things that you sort of promote is also the use of technology in this whole world of caregiving and you know, doing all that. Uh, how is technology enhancing? Are there new things out there that uh, are being developed? There's something new every day that's remarkable. And for example, I was a long distance and am a long distance caregiver for my dad. Right. I live in LA, he lives in South Carolina. I worried myself sick about the number one concern falls right. and managing medications, both of those with my dad. 
I nagged him and nagged him, and I really did, until he got a, a medical alert device. I got him a Philips Lifeline. I said, it's, it's not for you, Daddy, because he didn't want it. Right. It's, it's for, for me. me yeah. right? <laughs> right. And it really did give me incredible peace of mind. About two years after I gave it to him, he needed it. It's like your safety belt. You put it on every day. Exactly. You don't exactly. think you're ever going to need exactly. it. Exactly. He hit the floor with a heart attack. Automatic fall detection is an amazing thing because if you're unconscious, if you're disoriented, if you can't reach the button or reach your phone, it will automatically signal help. And without that, I wouldn't have my right. dad. Right. And technology is getting better and better every day. So absolutely keep and they can find this information in in, in, in your uh, campaign. Exactly right. All right. At LisasCareConnection.org. All right. Dot org. So that's where people get. That's where people get all the information. That's where you can. All right. Find Say out. it one more time. I want to hear the words. LisasCareConnection.org. You got it. Well, thank you so much for being here. You're wonderful. And and listening to my story. But you know, this is an important topic, and everybody is going to learn a lot from from your program. Thank you so much. And if you have any health questions, tweet me at Dr. Manny on Fox. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.